HIMS 2017, day number one, is Scott Adams here with you, Commonwealth TV, as we go around our exhibitor floor and hear from some of our partner organizations, one of those of which is Life Image, and their CTO, Jonik Joshi, now joining us to hear a little bit more about the partnership with Life Image yep. as well as Commonwealth. So, Life Image was one of the early entrants and first to market in the exchange space. And our route started with exchanging medical images across the country and supporting hundreds of hospitals and patient safety uh, events. And that evolved into us kind of committing and making sure that we support the rest of the ecosystem um, to interoperate and to serve the patient from a con care continuity perspective and from a care management perspective. Because from a patient's perspective, we felt that it was necessary to align ourselves with uh, organizations such as Commonwealth to make sure that we are being a part of serving the patient and not just being a part of serving ourselves as an entity. And that's what makes you guys so unique, correct? Correct, correct. And our, our unique differentiator is Life Image has been primarily uh, rooted deep within very complex clinical workflows across large academic medical centers and managing long-standing workflows as the patient moves from facility to facility, from payer systems, from employers, and, from, and with different care teams. So it's very important for us to make sure that we are not just looking intrinsically as a life image, as a point solution, but looking at something that kind of enables the patient to have better outcomes for the right patient, for the right time, for the right clinical context, with the right therapy. Interoperability, advancements here. What excites Life Image? What excites Jonik Yoshi here over the course of the next five years, maybe 10 years too? So don't want to put a timeline on it because these are very evolving concepts and interoperability standards has been around for many years. Um, but it's only now over the last year, a couple of years that the word artificial intelligence and analytics uh, has beginning to take a lot of attention amongst all of us, actually. But interoperability is kind of key to demonstrate that seamless uh, identification of evidence as the patient moves from point A to point B, point B to point C. And we feel that the biggest impact of interoperability as time goes by is in going to be in, play, uh, in areas of analytics and uh, artificial intelligence at the end of the day, because uh, Interoperability is not just meant to drive transactions, it's actually meant to drive novel insights, it's meant to drive evidence, ultimately impacting the patient outcomes. Those advancements, challenges of interoperability here in the near future. So when you talk about challenges with uh, interoperability, uh, it's multifaceted. And the biggest challenge I have observed historically uh, is not that the interoperability standards have not worked, but it's more about uh, what is the incentive to make those interoperability uh, use cases adopted within, within uh, different systems. And to give you an example, the existing investments that already uh, cost millions of dollars across provider systems, payer systems, uh, are not just gonna be ripped and replaced because somebody else came up with a net new novel use case for adopting a new standard. Uh, how do you kind of uh, run multiple different interoperability standards in parallel? Uh, how do you kind of make a justification of moving or migrating from all your historic investments? And how do you kind of demonstrate that continuity of all the evidence that you're generating to drive analytics, to drive transactions, is probably the biggest challenge. A partnership that's just over a year old between Commonwealth along with Life Image is CTO Jonik Joshi here of Life Image. So happy that he was able to share a little bit about the interoperability challenges as well as advancements. As we'll continue here on HIMS 2017 as day number one, you're watching Commonwealth TV.